What is the Patagonian Mara? The Patagonian Mara, also known as the Patagonian Hare or Cavey, is a large rodent species that is often said to look like a cross between a rabbit and a deer, or other hoofed animal. This animal grows to a length of between 27 and 30 inches with a short tail of around 2 inches on average. Its physical appearance is marked by its long front legs, large ears, and muscular back legs that are perfect for hopping. Its feet are distinctive in shape as well, with a rounded and compact shape that makes them appear to be hoof-like at first glance. Additionally, the head of this species is elongated with a slightly rounded snout that is similar in shape to the head of a kangaroo. The Patagonian Mara is covered in a coarse, brownish-gray fur. Its underbelly, snout, and eyelids however, are covered in white fur. In captivity, this species has been recorded to live up to 14 years. The Patagonian Mara, Dolicotes patagonum, lives in south and central Argentina mainly in areas of scrub desert or coarse grassland. It is a rodent resembling a short-eared hare also called the Patagonian hare or Patagonian cavy, but is actually a close relative of the guinea pig. It is one of the few rodents that mate for life, and its social structure is based on this. Pairs will travel everywhere together with the female in the lead and the male watching out for danger. They usually keep to themselves except during breeding time. At that time they will share a burrow with other families with litters. The burrows are dug by the females. The pups are born well developed with open eyes. The female will identify her young by smell and lead them a little distance from the burrow to suckle. The male watches over the family at this time for predators. This unique social organization is thought to give more protection to the young. They live up to 10 to 15 years. The third largest rodent in the world, the Patagonian Mara is 69 to 75 centimeters, about 2 feet, long. It can run very fast for its size, up to 45 kilometers, 28 miles, per hour for distances over 1 kilometer, because it has powerful hind legs. The front legs are adapted for digging their burrows with four sharp claws. When fully grown they stand about 2 feet, 0.61 meters, at the shoulder, are 2.5 feet, 0.76 of a meter, long and weigh 35 pounds, 15.88 kilograms. The Patagonian Mara is gradually heading for the endangered species list. Its habitat is being cleared for agriculture and it is in competition for the green vegetation it eats with sheep and the European hare that have been introduced to the region. It is hunted by birds of prey, snakes and some mammals. Some localized populations have already become extinct. It is living in at least 12 protected areas at the present time. It is classified NT, near threatened, on the Yukon Red List. This mammal seems to be a strange combination of several animals. They are fast runners like rabbits, and they can hop six feet into the air when startled. They walk like deer, and have some of the same coloring of deer or antelope with white on their underside and tail. They fold their front paws like a cat when resting in the sun. Their face resembles a kangaroo. Where does the Patagonian Mara live? The Patagonian Mara has only ever been reported in Argentina. Here, this species inhabits large, open grasslands and can be found across significant expanses of the Patagonia region. The Patagonian Mara travels in pairs, as it maintains the same mates for life, and the two may cover a territory of around 242 acres on average. The male Patagonian Mara is particularly protective of his partner and exhibits the unique behavior of marking her and the area around her with his urine. This practice creates a territory around the female Patagonian Mara that moves with her, warding off potential rivals or competitors. Additionally, mating season for this species occurs between August and January, with litters born approximately 100 days after fertilization. When the young are born, 
the Patagonian Mara may live in communal burrows of up to 44 adult individuals, or 22 pairs. Within its habitat, this species relies on grass and grass-like plants as its primary food source, although it has also been recorded eating fruits, seeds, and flowers. Interestingly, the Patagonian Mara may consume its waste in order to ensure optimum nutritional consumption. Behavior The Patagonian Mara forages on grasses or shrubs and may spend long periods basking in the sun during the day. By night, it finds shelter in a burrow or amongst dense vegetation. A male and female will form a lifelong pair. Females give birth to an average litter size of two young after a gestation period of 90 days. The young are born well developed, with their eyes already open. They remain in a communal burrow until they are four months old and are visited daily by their parents. Adult breeding pairs take it in turns to visit the burrow. The female makes a shrill call, which brings all the infant maris out from the burrow to the surface. After identifying her own offspring by smell, she leads them a short distance away from the burrow to suckle. Threats faced by the Patagonian Mara Previously, the Patagonian Mara population could be found across a much larger region of South America, stretching from the Patagonia region of Argentina to the Tierra del Fuego region of Chile. A number of factors have contributed to its reduced habitat range, most of these factors have primarily been caused by human activity. One example of the damage caused by human activity is the increasing number of development projects that have resulted in significant habitat destruction throughout its original range. Additionally, this species has largely been valued by humans for its fur, which is coveted for household items like bed linens and area throw rugs. This demand for fur has resulted in overhunting of the species, which has, in turn, caused a significant decrease in population. Because of these factors and the fact that this species is now extinct in some regions of its original range, the Yukon has listed the Patagonian Mara as a near-threatened species. Which zoos have them? Artis, Netherlands, and Dublin Zoo, Ireland. The Patagonian Cavey, Patagonian hare, Patagonian mara is listed as near threatened, LR slash NT, is close to qualifying for or is likely to qualify for a threatened category, in the near future, on the Yukon Red list of threatened species. Eating habits Patagonian maras are herbivorous, primarily consuming grasses. They also frequently consume cactuses, as well as some seeds, fruits and flowers. Maris are also coprophagous, ingesting their own dung to maximize nutrient absorption. At the Smithsonian's National Zoo, maris are fed rodent chow, greens, fruits, vegetables, nuts and hay. Social structure Patagonian maris are diurnal animals built for running. They travel in mated pairs, with the male aggressively protecting his mate from rivals and predators. Reproduction and Development Monogamous for life, Patagonian Maris have a unique breeding strategy. Estrus occurs three to four times each year, for a window of only 30 minutes. Gestation lasts around 100 days, with the female typically giving birth to one to three well-developed young. Most Maris in the wild produce only one litter annually, although Maris in human care can give birth three to four times each year. Offspring are born out in the open but are quickly transferred into a communal burrow. This burrow can be shared with as many as 15 different Mara pairs and their offspring. Because males are fiercely protective of their mates, only one Mara pair occupies the burrow at any given time. With many young inhabiting the den, female Maris recognize their offspring by size, sound and scent communication. Pups may attempt to steal milk from unrelated females, although they are often forcefully driven away. Females take on almost all direct care of their young, while males serve as sentries, protecting the den from potential predators. 
Young Maris will nurse for much longer than most other rodent species about 75 days before being weaned. Lifespan Patagonian Maris can live for approximately 14 years in human care. Their lifespan in the wild is unknown. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment on what would you like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. Animal Facts 101